Today we're gonna make a lovely Dutch oven roast chicken right now, right here for you guys. So without further ado, let's do it. Your first step is to preheat your oven to 425. While your oven is preheating, make sure to prepare your potatoes, carrots, and onions. Now your vegetables are prepared, it's time to drizzle with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. Let's do it. Little bit of drizzle of olive oil right there. Generous as pleased. Pepper. Salt. Then mix. Done. Now we're gonna need to make our herbed butter. You're gonna need unsalted butter, garlic, rosemary, thyme, and also some lemons, but we don't have lemons, so we're using limes. Use what you want. So you're gonna need about eight tablespoons of butter and then to mix in all the rest of your herbs. All right, now that you have all your herbs inside the butter, it's time to mix. Do it with your hands. Do it with your hands. Squeeze the butter. Squeeze it good. Now we've mixed together our herb butter mixture. It's time to apply it to the chicken. Kabam, there it is. All right, so we got our whole chicken. It's now time to start buttering this bad boy. You need to tap it dry a bit. All right, it's time to start massaging our chicken with this lovely butter mixture. Oh yeah, you're a bad chicken. You gotta be rubbed down there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, rub that chicken down. Oh fuck yeah, no, no, get that butter everywhere. So it's important to get your nice butter mixture between the skin openings. Just get that, get that butter everywhere, you know? Just kind of rub it in between the skin and the nice, fleshy, moist breast here. Just rub that breast all the way down. I like your chicken glove. So we're just sticking our hand completely in the chicken and just rubbing it down. Oh <laughs> all right, so now we have all of our vegetables prepared in order to stuff this damn chicken. So let's do it. We need some onion, limes, thyme, rosemary, and just stuff it in that. So you just wanna take your chicken, this bad old chicken, just stuff her full. Stuff her full of everything you can. She's a bad chicken. Fill that chicken with the brim here. See how it's full to bursting? Just get that chicken full. Yeah, I can take a little bit more, can't you? No, please, please, no more. Fuck you, take more. Wait, are we gonna like uh, tie her up? <laughs> <laughs> I, think we, I think we have to, right? Okay, now that your chicken is completely stuffed to the brim, we need to tie her up. Let's get her tied. I'm, I'm holding her down, tie her up. <laughs> Okay, chicken, you're gonna be tied up now. You, ah! best, <laughs> you best be quiet now. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> no, no cry, chicken, no cry. God, no! <laughs> All right, so your next step is to get a little bit of paprika on this bird and just, you know, kind of gingerly and liberally just spice it all up there then you're gonna want a little bit of salt and pepper and just make sure it's nice and seasoned all the way around so your next step is you're gonna want to fill your dutch oven with a whole bunch of those veggies on the bottom so it doesn't burn perfect now you finagled your chicken into your dutch oven Put the lid on and make sure it's nice and yep. secure. It's secure. Looks perfect. Let's put it in the oven. Let's put our nice little Dutch oven bird in the oven. There we go. And keep it in for an hour and 25 minutes. Later. All right, it looks like it's been there enough time. Let's take it out and see what's going on. Whoo! It looks absolutely amazing. Let's be careful to take out this smoking hot Hold chicken the tray here. Out first. Ooh. Ooh. All right, this looks absolutely perfect. We're gonna let it sit a little bit. There it is, all nicely plated and ready to go. It's all done and dusted and completed. And look at this lovely platter we have here. 
Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smells so good. Wow. I'm ready to take a nice little bite out of crime here. Try this nice little carrot. Mmm. Try some of this chicken here. Mmm. Mmm. Not joking, this is amazing. So damn good. Oh wow. Delicious. Mm.